everybody coming tonight. We sure do appreciate what a, what a great outpouring of the Steveville community. It's great seeing uh, former teammates, current teammates, uh, parents, uh, community members, uh, all of our support groups, just everybody being here and supporting the Renfro family. Uh, this was a day that uh, started a long time ago. And it was a day that uh, was brought to life through a lot of hard work, a lot of perseverance, a lot of staying the course, and, and believing through a lot of adversity uh, that, that Kay battled through. And, and uh, you know, just extremely proud of, of this young, young man and, and all of his accomplishments and everything that he's been able to uh, do on the football field, but also in the classroom and also in our community of uh, representing the Yellow Jackets in the right way. It was great in all those phases, and he uh, definitely uh, wore that C on his chest of being a captain of a football team, and he wore it the right way, and he did th things the right way. So uh, that's what I'm most proud of is the, is the man that he became and the man that he's going to be. Talk about the classroom a little bit. Had a, had a 3.3 uh, core GPA, partnered that with the SAT score of 1240. You can see excellence there. You can see um, every time that we had a community outreach event, um, Cade was one of the first ones to sign up and say, I'm in, I'm ready to go to work, whatever you need, coach, and uh, just be right there leading the charge uh, for our football team. On the field, uh, you know, we led our group this year. <clears throat> Mention was one of the four captains. Uh, threw for over 2,400 yards, uh, 17 touchdowns. Uh, rush for five more at a quarterback rating of uh, 93.6 uh, uh, for the year and uh, you know really led our, our offensive football team uh, to have some great numbers and, and set us up for success. Uh, really do believe he's playing his best football down the stretch there. He would even tell you you know our last three games he, he really put on a show. Um, and he, you know averaged uh, through a course of uh, 12 games, you know, throwing for 215 yards. So did great things in our community, gr did great things in, in the classroom, and, and did great things on the field, and, and all set him up for, for this day. He was also a, a multiple sport athlete. Uh, you, you kids that are still playing and still have the opportunity to be involved in high school sports, uh, you know, a lot of specialization these days. A lot of people think you need to be training specifically for football year-round, and uh, Kay partnered that uh, with, with track and field. And as you guys uh, smile there in the back, uh, you know, track in the sport that people just sign up for. Uh, you know, all the coaches are laughing because they completely understand it. You know, that's a, that's a sport where it, you begin off-season, congratulations to everybody just made the track team and everybody just made the powerlifting team. We'll see you after school. And you know, some guys don't don't fully buy into that role, but Kay did that. Um, you know, it was one of his goals there as a young freshman to drop his 40 time down, get in the four eights, and uh, shoot. That's why, you, you know, you always, uh, you know, root, root, reach for the, the moon and you fall in the stars because he moved it from a four eight and got it all the way down to his last test there in May, he ran a four six. And I uh, can't tell you, uh, there wasn't too many races that Kay didn't win through our summer strength and conditioning, uh, through, through everything that we put the guys through. Kay was, Kay was at the top or near the top and everything that he did. And, uh, you know, really set him up for, for this opportunity to go play in the SEC uh, West, you know, the best conference there in America. And uh, got some Steveville ties there at, at, at Ole Miss. And there with Randy Clements, former Offensive line coach here is, is the O-line coach at Ole Miss. And then, and then Jeff Levy with his ties to Texas high school football and, and him being raised up being a, uh, a coach's kid as well. And so uh, can't be more excited for, for Cade and, and uh, his family and this opportunity. So with that, we're going to go ahead and Cade's going to sign. You guys can uh, take pictures just, just of Cade to, to begin with. And I want to bring up all the family and uh, take some pictures, and then uh, Kay would like to say a few words to, to thank everybody as well. So uh, go to grab the pen, and uh, everybody give a round of applause for it. Yeah.
Well, first and foremost, I'd like to thank all y'all for coming out tonight, taking out time out of the day. And uh, secondly, I'd like to thank the Copelands and Barefoot Athletics for allowing us to have this event here and um, opening up their store. And I'd like to thank my parents first for everything that they've done and all the hardships that we've been through over the times and arguments and laughs. laughs. It's good times, good times. You know, uh, my brother especially for all the sacrifices that he's made while I was practicing until 7.30 p.m. with all my guys and everything. He was back at the ranch feeding for me and he was doing my chores and picking up slack on the farm where I wasn't able to be present. So I love you, Case. I can't thank you enough. Oh, that's good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, to Greenwald, to Steven, y'all supported me ever since I was a little child. I can't thank y'all enough. I mean, everything that y'all have done and being there right by my side, it's means a lot to me, Grandma. I want you to know that. And I can't wait for the next few years when you're coming up to Oxford. So. <laughs> you guys know you. Thank you for always helping guide me. Be a great man. Role model for me to look to. Thank you enough for everything that you've done for all of us. And I think I speak on behalf of the seniors this past year. You really instilled in us the core values and we'll take them for the rest of our lives. Yeah, thank you enough for that. And so and to Coach Luker. <laughs> Coach Luker, you developed me as a quarterback on the field, but also the person I am off the field, and I can't thank you enough for that. And uh, you know, we've had some great times together being a one quarterback room at times. And, always just being right there by each other's side and talking to each other and talking through what we saw on the field. And I can't thank you enough for that, but uh, I do think that you still owe me a few smoothies. So I have to get back to you on that. <laughs> Coach Womack and the entire staff, I mean, y'all mean the world to me. And I can't, like I said, I can't thank y'all enough for everything y'all have done for me. And just coming in and the strength conditioning and speed program that y'all have instilled and also the core values, like I had said, that y'all have instilled into us. And being great men that we'll eventually become and husbands and fathers. And so, to Coach Payne and Pastor Dipforth in helping lead us and fellowship and guide us through the season as a team, through our faith and bringing us together before each battle. Y'all have meant the world to us and as well as uh, Coach leading FCA and everything. So I can't thank y'all enough for that. Just every Thursday whenever we had chat, it really meant the world to me. It really instilled some values to us before the games. So all the kids who grew up watching the Yellow Jacket football, I mean, y'all uh, y'all help y'all help us each and every day, whether y'all know it or not, because y'all are looking up to us and y'all have a standard that y'all have set. Goals that we have to achieve, because y'all are looking up to us every single day. Y'all know the type of players that we're supposed to be. And, Y'all get to run out of the tunnel with us, and that's the highlight of y'all's week, probably, and it's also the highlight of my week, whether y'all realize it or not, getting to see all the little kids looking up to us. And uh, to the ball boys as well, being right by my side anytime I need y'all. Y'all's game day dedication, commitment to what y'all do is really outstanding, and I really applaud y'all for that. And I'll, uh, I'll never forget the fans, all that y'all done in the can fans, especially when we were running out of the tunnel. Hearing all, all the away games and knowing that y'all come to support, y'all always be there. And I can't thank y'all enough. Including the band. The band was always there. They worked countless hours and uh, working on our five songs and working on their life. I can't thank them enough for everything that they've done for my my Steveville High School football career because it exemplifies Texas high school football and you either run out of here or Fight, uh, fight song clan and you hear the cans shaking and just gets you, gets you pumped up before a game. Now to the teammates. Guys, the members we share are everything that we, and everything that we've accomplished this year will never fade in my heart. And, uh, you know, one example, whether that be, you know, Coach Craven chewing out Kate for messing something up, but <laughs> applying Coy for doing the exact same thing. So. <laughs> 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 hey, and it's always good to look over to wide receiver number one, Gavin, and hear him complaining about his knees. So it's always, it's always a good time. And I'll never forget the times Coach Doty has ripped into me for asking where my eyes were on that single play. And it might be one out of 50, but you know, I'm gonna hear it that day. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, 
not to mention all the times that he's called Kate and Danny. <laughs> That's one of the main things. Yeah. We'll always remember the battles that we had in practice and then immediately had to flip the script and go to defense because we were short on men, but we always gave it our all. And y'all gave it y'all all to uh, help succeed where we were. And, you know, Daniel's a prime example of that. He had to step up in the Argyle game and, you know, play both ways when he needed it. The work Coach Doty started this program and started over, you know, it's kind of it's kind of rewarding to see where we've come, you know, whenever everybody projected us just to win one game, we ended up winning six. You know, we've had some hard battles, and, you know, I wish we could have had that one last one, but it is what it is. And I just wanted to say never forget the values that uh, all these coaches and everybody has put into us each and every day because we're going to remember that for a lifetime. It's going to be in our heart as husband and as father. So. And lastly, I'd like to thank God for the countless blessings he's put into my life. And the numerous times I've looked towards him for answers. And uh, I can't thank him enough for everything that he's done for me. And nothing, none of this, not even 